So how many Botox units or Zeman units do you need? I'm a PA, I'm an aesthetic injector, I'm a co-founder of High Point Med Spa in New Jersey, and I'm here to explain. So Botox and Zeman are similar in units, in their measurement of dose. And when we're talking about the treatment, generally it's advisable to treat three zones together, and that's the glabella complex, forehead, and the crow's feet. So the guidelines are 20 units into the glabella, 20 into the forehead, 12 12, so a total of 24 into the crow's feet. So can this dosage vary? Absolutely, yes, it does. It might differ from um, male to female. It actually does because males, they have larger, thicker muscles. So generally they tend to need a higher dose. But even personally for me, just into the glabella complex where the recommendation is 20 units, I need 30 for the optimal result. But in the forehead where it's recommended to get 20 units, I only get 10 to give me more of a brow, of brow elevation. If I get more, my brows tend to go down and I have already hooded lids, so I have this heaviness, heavy sensation. But in the crow's feet, I get about 20 units. So your injector will be able to really calculate your dose uh, what it will take to reach the optimal result, but also should listen um, for your concerns and needs. Do you want more of a conservative treatment where you have some movement or you want to be completely frozen? But remember, the length of the results is proportionate to the dose, meaning if you go more of a conservative route, natural look, more movement, um, that will wear off faster. Typically, in about two months, you will be back to full movement. Where you treat it optimally, that result will last longer.